young man from Tulsa, Oklahoma, 27 years of age, only 73 kilograms. He is the reigning Arm Wars welterweight champion of the world. He will face one of the top middleweight contenders in the world, relentless Frode Hogeland. He's from Osnia Bergen in Norway, far bigger at 86 kilograms. He is the current Norwegian middleweight champion. Hello, I'm Frode from Norway, middleweight division. I'm here to pull uh, Jeff Hale. Good, baby. Go! Ah! Ah! No! No! Ah! Uh, yeah, he's a solid puller. I don't know that much, but he's strong, looks strong. From what I've seen. Let go! Ah, there you go, Jeff Hale! My advantages will be my endurance and my uh, uh, weight. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit heavier than him. So I don't care that much about positions. I just pull the way it goes. <laughs> I don't know. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important parts of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The beautiful thing about this particular arm wrestling match is we are seeing two exceptional exponents of arm wrestling, professional arm wrestling at its very best. Jeff Hale in the black shirt, huge hit from the American. And the smaller man showing why he is the welterweight champion of the world. We slip and the one inch nylon strap will be applied. It will go around the wrists, around the hands. The referee is Keith Taylor of the British Arm Wrestling Federation, master referee of the Arm Wall Super Series. Enormous hit again from Hale, but he's slotted straight into the hook of relentless Florida Hogland, and it's a roar into the face of the Hale Razor. Hogland digs in, weight on that elbow. How much power? Can you expect to see from a welterweight arm wrestler? You won't see more than this, that's for sure. Look at this from the Hellraiser. Jeff Hale is working Frode Hogland over, but the big man drives through, and it is first blood to the man from Oss, Norway. Watch again on the replay. Massive attack from word go from the Hellraiser Jeff Hale, the man in the black shirt and the Buddy Holly glasses. But he ran out of steam. The bigger man able to drive That's through. What I'm saying is, when you're in a strap like that, which is probably going to go again, okay? What I want you to do is in a strap with your wrist down, okay, while they're strapping you. And when they tighten that strap down, I want you to adjust up high like this, okay? okay. You were perfect on the ready go. You just didn't lay back enough on your tricep, okay? okay. You tried these top rows all arm. You need to lay back on that <laughs> that close to peeling the over. of what promises to be a breathtaking encounter here at the top of the MGM Grand overlooking beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Massive hit again and that's better. Whoa, the Hellraiser's glasses go flying into the air. We'll go into the strap match. Slipped apart there. Both men trying to peel open their opponent. But Hoagland in the yellow shirt was wise to the attack. Jeff Hale, Lightning Luke Kent, the California kid, had been giving advice to the Hellraiser in his corner. Good advice it was as well, but it's a counter top roll from this complete Norwegian. And relentless Florida Hoagland drives to the pad. Jeff Hale unhappy about that one. He was caught with a counter, a sucker punch. He tried for his own top roll. You can see on the replay, he was in a negative arm, defensive position from day one. And with the shorter lever, unable to set his hook. And he fires expletives high into the air above Vegas. Get fired up. Loosened up a little bit. Good. Good. Crack that. From the basketball. I want to see you fold his wrist. Because that will act like a vice. You want to drag your elbow forward. Okay, up in the strap. It's a slight back and lean back into Okay, he's giving me Okay. Advice again in the corner of the Hellraiser. Jeff Hale, welterweight champion of the world in the black shirt. Lightning Luke Kinney, an expert top roller, giving advice to the smaller man. That short lever doing a job, and he breaks open, almost breaks back the wrist 
of Florida Hoagland, but what a smooth, complete athlete this Norwegian is. Staying tight with his arm. Look at the determination. Now watch for a reversal from Hale. He's tricky in these situations. There it is. Unable to finish it. We will go into the strap, but as predicted, the Hellraiser tried for a flash reversal and a drop wrist press. But the arm of the Norwegian was just too strong. And Hale, whilst his skills are truly something to behold, he's facing a much bigger, stronger athlete in relentless Florida Hogland and more ominously one who emulates him, mirrors him in terms of the level of completeness Hogland is taking over. Look at the size difference in the two men there. Watch on the replay. Big, big defensive drive from relentless Florida Hogland. The side pressure. This guy can pull from any position. And it's a frustrated look on the face of the Hail Razor. You're getting the wrist, you're just not getting the rotation, okay? Try to turn a little bit this as you're posting straight back of the elbow. Turn a little bit, if you're still straight with your hand, turn a little bit, okay? Because that's what you're lacking, that little rotation right there. I don't know how you do it, you are a machine. All right, baby. Thank you. <sighs> the Pitbull porn star, Ryan Clark. He's had an excellent weekend here in Las Vegas. Though, please, Jeff. Is working in the corner no, of no, relentless Frodo Hogan. Those guys have become good there. friends, competing on the arm wall super series around the world. Back at the table, right here and now, Jeff Hale has gained control of the hand and wrist. How is he managing to do that? And look at the power from relentless Frodo Hogan. Hogan now comes in with a tricep. That leverage advantage is paying real dividends for the Norwegian. He's managed to gain his hand back. Incredible match, two very complete athletes here at the table. Hogeland of Norway, he is the Norwegian champion, Norwegian overall champion. It's the man in the yellow shirt. The smiling assassin, relentless Frode Hogeland. We are deep, deep inside. It's all about the power and relentless Frode Hogeland starts to drive, sets that elbow. Oh, Hale is on the running foul. I'm sure he's seen it and has, he lets that one go. Wasting energy there, and he knew he couldn't win from that position. Though he was working the big Norwegian, he saw Pete Taylor signal low. A face from Frode Hogland, and he looks into the crowd, he looks into the camera. Strong. I'm talking about moving your elbow a little bit, okay? What it does is it takes the slack out. Okay, when you're posting high like that, you're not only coming here, okay, but right before the go, you're sliding, you're pulling just to slack out to move his arm, and then you post straight back. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. Really? That's right, that's right. Relentless Frodo Hogland. Such a powerful, such a complete arm wrestler this man is. Jeff Hale, really up against it in terms of the leverage. Oh, that's so much better from Hale in terms of hand control. Again, he tests the hand of the Norwegian to absolute breaking point. And that's better because now he knows Hogland is on the running foul. Unbelievable arm position. But look at the power from Frode Hogland. He still hasn't lost his wrist. Oh, transition. Drives into the tri-press. He bone lines Hale. He's just found out he was on the running foul and he's got to do it all again. But a disconsolate look on the face of Jeff Hale because he must be thinking, how did this young man from Norway get me back from that position? Hale had a legendary position in the hand and wrist. Oh, Hogland with a drop wrist press. We're going to go into the strap. Jeff Hale must really feel this is like arm wrestling in the mirror against a bigger, stronger version of yourself. Unbelievable talent on display here. The power of Frodo Hogland is ridiculous. Such a complete arm wrestler, Jeff Hale. He transitions sweetly into a hook, but he's on the receiving end and he must hold that extra weight. How is Jeff Hale able to mix it up with men way above his weight class? What a remarkable little athlete this is. And Hale may be losing this arm wrestling match but he's losing it in a manner which reflects the fact that he is truly an exceptional athlete. One of the greatest welterweight exponents of this sport that I've ever seen. Looking good. <sighs> Do you know how to lose? You don't. No, I don't know. You don't. <laughs> you never lose. It's all right. 
Get one. Maybe get one. No. This is Kenny Hughes move. Okay. Elbow the very back of the pad, down low like this. And it, it changes the, the angle. It gets you something else. Okay. Advice from Lightning yeah, Luke Kin. No. Try something yeah. different. Change the angle. This way. I think to be fair to the Hail Razor, he has tried every yeah, conceivable yeah, angle in the book of arm wrestling. A few that have never been invented, and there's another one. Massive reversing top row. Fantastic position. And the Hail Razor is giving it every ounce in his body. It's only a 73 kilogram body against an 86 kilogram body, and the power is kicking in in the bigger man now. And it's just about power. And Frora Hoagland has more of it. He's got a frame stacked with top end and relentless Frora Hoagland shows again how complete he is. He turns to the crowd. He feels that extra top end. This young man from Tulsa, Oklahoma, 27 years of age, only 73 kilograms. He is the reigning Arm Wars welterweight champion of the world. He will face one of the top middleweight contenders in the world, Relentless Frora Hoagland is from Osnia Bergen in Norway, far bigger at 86 kilograms. He is the current Norwegian middleweight champion. Hello, I'm Frode from the Norway middleweight division. I'm here to pull uh, Jeff Hale. Good, baby. Go! Ah! Ah! No! No! Ah! Uh, yeah, he's a solid puller. I don't know that much, but he's strong, looks strong from what I've seen. Go! Ah! My advantages will be my endurance and my uh, uh, weight. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit heavier than him. So I don't care that much about positions. I just pull the way it goes. 